Hi, I'm Rick Schultz from Virtual Dynamics. Welcome to Tips and Tweaks. We've got a Verity Audio Serastro loudspeaker here that we've been working on for the last little while to be able to show you what we're talking about with the brass screw tweak and what we've discovered about the importance of properly torquing all of your drivers. And what we're talking about is the screw that actually holds them in place. So before we go on with that, let me show you the device that you'll need to get started with before you do any of it. You need to get yourself a precision torque driver. Now we've once shown the Wheeler fat wrench and it's a reasonable torque wrench for sure, but this is on a much higher scale. It is set from five to 35 inch pounds and it's uh, tolerance is 4%. So of course, the harder it is to be able to get a precision measurement, the lower the measurement is. So at five uh, inch pounds, it's much more difficult to be precise than it is at 20 inch pounds, where we're probably gonna be working somewhere in the 10 to 20, uh, maybe even 30 inch pounds, if you're lucky, on your loudspeaker. So this is one of the devices that you'll need. Um, we do have them available on our website. <clears throat> Original screws that come in most speakers are usually steel. And the problem with steel is that steel resonates and it's a ferrous material. Of course, we're working with electromagnets and permanent magnets mixed together when we're talking about drivers. So anything that's ferrous is something you should probably try to keep fairly far away from the actual driver itself. So one of the advantages by switching into a brass screw is the fact that it's non-ferrous. But the other advantage is the way that it resonates. The vibration and the way that vibration moves through brass, it's one of the best materials and that's why it's often used for musical instruments. When you insert a brass screw and replace it at the same amount of torque that you had a steel screw, you should notice quite a nice difference. However, if the driver is not tight enough, that change alone won't make much difference at all. You really need to get a proper torque setting and really tighten that driver up against the cabinet to stop that driver from actually resonating and put much more of that resonation back into the cabinet where we want to be able to have it escape to. Now the driver, of course, is what's causing all this vibration. As the driver moves back and forth, some of that resonant energy, as drivers can move as much as 20,000 times per second, just to be able to re reproduce a 20,000 frequency note, this here, right, this here, as it starts to move, causes this basket assembly that the driver actually sits in to start to resonate, and in turn, starts to resonate the entire cabinet. In order to be able to get that resonation off the, the ring of the driver, we call the spider, and into the cabinet, that's why we want to go to the brass, because brass will do that quicker than any other material. Now, as we do that, um, we normally will take a, a, a Dremel or something like that, just to make it easy, and be able to remove all of the screws one at a time. And as you remove those screws, replace it with an equivalent brass screw. That's probably the place to start. Before you even do that though, however, you could just take your torque wrench and just make sure that the torque on all of the screws is the same. Phone your manufacturer, find out what they torqued them to and if the torque spec was important to them originally. If it wasn't important to them, it has to be important to you. You need to be able to torque these drivers so that they're all matching. And if you find that maybe your torque setting should be approximately 12 inch pounds, make sure that each one of these drivers is set at 12 inch pounds. Now, I've actually heard sound stages pull to the right or to the left simply because the drivers weren't torqued on the left and right channel to the same amount of pressure. So it can be that vital that it can actually change and cause a sound stage to be able to move off center. So this, we're talking about something that's pretty impactable. Now, the other thing is that you should have that torque setting approximately the same for each driver. Once you've started with that, you can start to torque the drivers even a little bit more to be able to make them integrate to each other a little bit better. So if your tweeter is a little bit bright sounding, chances are you need to torque it in just a little bit tighter. If the mid-range is maybe just a little bit too boomy or not quite defined enough, where you can't hear the inner detail and quality of things like the sound of the wood of a guitar, it probably needs to be torqued more. If the bass is boomy, you're almost guaranteed you're gonna to need to torque more on the, the, uh, the, the bass driver and get that tightened up because a bass driver should never be boomy, should always just sound like the sound of, a, of an instrument, just like an acoustic guitar does. Now, as we get into looking at how to do this, when you take out your screw, you're going to see a little hole in the, the speaker like this here. And that little screw, um, it's kind of set in there so that you can 
put your screw head and it won't sit way outside of the speaker. So as you put your screw inside, you want it to be able to fit right down into that hole. If the screw head is too big to be able to fit down into that hole, then you want to find something with a little smaller screw head, and that's fairly important. Um, you want the biggest screw head possible without, without it being too big to fit in the hole. The other thing is you want the biggest screw you can possibly get without being too big. Now you're going to go into two different types of material. You're either going to go into MDF normally, like this loudspeaker here, where you've just used a wood screw and put it right in. The original screw that would come into this one was a wood screw. We replaced that number 8 wood screw, it was a steel one originally, with a number 10 one and a quarter inch, the original one was a one inch, and we torqued it down to 30 inch pounds. Partly, we were able to do that because there's a good amount of, of, of quality MDF in this loudspeaker that would allow us to get that kind of torque. So, let me show you what I mean. Here's our torque wrench, and right now it's set to 30 inch pounds. At 30 inch pounds, I can take this screw and I can turn it back. And if I want to tighten it up, as I start to turn, the torque wrench will set me to 30 inch pounds exactly, and then it will let go. It will release just like you've seen there. The other thing that you've seen is when I pull my screwdriver out, my bit actually stayed in place. And I didn't plan that, but it does remind me to make sure that you realize that it's absolutely essential to use a proper fitting bit whenever you're doing this particular type of tweak. This is a Robertson head, and they're fairly easy to find something that will fit properly. If you've got a slotted head screw, it's really important that you pick up a really good, uh, maybe a, uh, uh, the, a, a multiple bit set that they use for gunsmithing. There's like 200 different screw sizes in there and often uh, you'll find like 150 different ones with the blade style and you'll find one that will fit inside there no problem at all. So that's basically it. We wanted to be able to walk through the whole thing and sh tell you all about the screws and how important it was. Um, you're going to get a chance to play with this yourself if you're brave enough to do so. If you're not, you can also call a carpenter or some sort of handyman professional to come and help you with your speakers so that you don't have to worry about busting off a screw while you're playing around with your loudspeakers. And this is only, of course, if you decide that you want to try to enhance a product that you already have. Um, if you like it the way it is, then don't worry about it. Thank you very much for this opportunity to be able to talk to you about the brass screw tweak and tips and tweaks. Thanks.